Welcome back to the Nerdy Scribbler. My name is Anthony DeLeon. I'm here to talk to you today about a very exciting episode. Scribblings behold. I'm very excited for this episode. Today I'm going to be sharing my favorite original character with you. Her name is Ikialo. Pronounced e ki She's such a cutie and a badass at the same time. Like my other character, Vula, from my Drawing Techniques video, Ikialo is from the game Colorless. As such, she was the main villain of the first game, and the righteous do-gooder of the second game. But how can this be? Well, let me take you back to the beginning. Ikialo was an abandoned infant in the realm of the Crystal Forest, a place where animals can talk and mysticism inhabits the land. The Crystal Forest was governed by the guardians of the forest, a bird, a toad, and a mouse, who lived within the confines of the biggest oak tree in the land, the Seeing Tree. Ikialo grew up knowing she was different. She could see light and dark energies flowing off of everything and everyone, but her peers thought she was just imagining things. She eventually learned she could manipulate objects using the light energy and create things using the dark energy. It was hard work to learn both manipulation and creation, but Ikialo was determined to be of use to her friends and her home. She became the Crystal Forest's healer, tending to the sick and protecting the seeing tree from harm. The guardians of the forest became comfortable with Ikialo's protection and tendencies. As their comfortability grew, their patience shortened. They began demanding things and growing greedy. One day, the toad told Ikialo to leave the seeing tree after she messed up a healing ritual. The cruelty of the guardian was more than she could bear that day. Something in her head snapped and she left the forest. She manipulated the space around her and created a pocket dimension with her flurry of rage and sorrow. This dimension later came to be known as the Void. She thought she could have her own world and fill it with life. She would be a benevolent queen and give her new life forms love. She spent what felt like months in the void, but creating a world with life proved much harder than Ikialo initially thought. She longed for her home, so she conjured a portal back to the crystal forest, abandoning her Voidians. Once she was back in the forest, she realized only a few days had gone by. Because she didn't build the void with the laws of time in place, time went much faster in the void. Yet she came back to the forest with more knowledge on how to wield her magic. She sought out the cadaverous twins, two immortal beings who were caught between life and death. They controlled the color of the crystal forest, making sure that the more vibrant the colors, the healthier the realm was. Using her new abilities, she placed a curse on them, reversing their magic. Now as the color drains from the world, things began to unravel. Ikiala was determined to leave her mark on the world, even if it meant completely flipping things upside down. It would take eons before the realm eventually destroyed itself, but the confusion would cause the guardians to investigate, leaving the seeing tree wide open for her. Ikialo stealthily observed the guardians. She discovered they had brought an outsider from another dimension called Earth to find the cadaverous twins. Things were not going according to plan. In a desperate attempt to disrupt the guardians and their champion, Ikialo manipulated the ground around the seeing tree, causing it to collapse. The guardians and their champion dispersed, and Ikialo found a musty suit of armor amongst the debris around the tree. After picking it up, the armor shed away its broken disguise and transformed to fit her perfectly. She felt it imbue her with even more power than she could imagine. Her light and dark energies were flowing off her like crazy, but the flow of magic stopped immediately as she thought about the harm she was causing to her home and friends. Was she having second thoughts? She couldn't be. She was so ready to teach those who betrayed her a lesson, so ready to start giving orders instead of taking them. She levitated herself into the air and summoned one of the cadaverous twins to her side. He unwillingly appeared to her, but could not fight back against her willpower. She opened another portal back to the void. She dropped him within the void and flew off to a distant part where no Voidians were. Ikialo looked deep within her psyche and found traces of doubt of her current goals. She determined this to be the last remnants of her goodness. Using her magic, she forced the goodness to leave her body, but it did not simply disappear. Her goodness manifested a body of her own, identical to her before she found the armor. The two Ikialos looked at each other for a long while. Bad Ikialo could see no dark energies flowing off of her good self, and good Ikialo could see no light energies flowing off of her bad self. Bad Ikialo tried to use light manipulation magic, but to no avail. She felt it was better to focus on one form of magic now, as she couldn't do the other. Protect the cadaver's twin, Bad Ikialo said. Make sure he never leaves the void. And with that, Bad Ikialo returned to the crystal forest, leaving the cadaver's twin in all doubts of her intentions for the forest back in the void. 
I hope you all enjoyed part one of the tale of two Ikiyalos. While I mainly focused on bad Ikiyalo, this drawing is that of good Ikiyalo, using her trademark heavenly seal of suppression. Be sure to join me next time as I continue the story, and if you like what you've seen here, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Patreon if you want to help me grow as an artist. Links in the description. See you scribblings next time. Also, I apologize for the voice acting, but, you know, man trying to voice a girl, whatever. <laughs>